guys, my name is Max. Welcome to my movie channel. Today's video is going to be about a mail call. Isn't that cool? I found it for like $5.99 at Walgreens. We got um, one, two, three, four, five, six packages, um, all of them containing tools. So let's open them up. All right, guys, so I actually had this video wrapped up, but then I forgot to show you two of the things that I picked up. So I'm just going to show you those real quick, and then we'll get into the unboxing portion. So um, I picked these up a couple weeks ago, and I just kind of forgot about them. This here is the uh, Mac code. This is a 16-inch. Um, I mean a 16 ounce rather ball peen hammer pretty good um, Definitely feels like it's a quality material. However, it's a uh, smaller than I thought it was for some reason I got I don't know. I got it in my head that it would be larger. So that's what she said anyways <laughs> And I also got this here um, Matco serpentine belt wrench set so you know, it comes with a bunch of adapters, you know, you got uh, the actual breaker bar portion of it. A couple of uh, adapters there. So yeah, that's uh, those are the two that I forgot to mention about. So now let's get on with the un unboxings. Alright, we'll start off with uh, something from uh, Amazon here. Um, so we got, I, I ordered a bunch of stuff from Amazon recently. Um, so these are actually the Astro Tools 3 8 drive pinless universal impact sockets. Um, metric, they go from 10 to 19, no skips. I was gonna get the uh, <clears throat> the Matco one, but I can't afford that. So I did some research online. People say these Astro ones are really good. So picked them up. These were like 60 bucks. So we're gonna give it a shot and I don't even want to tell you how much the snap-on ones were even with the uh, student discount very expensive let's go to the uh, this one here another one from Amazon Amazon usually um, I don't have prime or anything but they usually deliver the packages in like five days uh, I mean four days usually and it's usually free shipping when you buy enough stuff the only thing i don't like is how they send you all of your sh stuff <laughs> in different boxes so that's the one thing i don't like all right so we got two items here in this oh boy, put that over there so we have a wrench organizer if you guys remember i have all of my wrenches in the drawer not organized at all um, so this is actually the reverse wrench organizer. I, spoiler alert, I got another one that's the regular direction so that they can sit side by side. So we got this here. Next up we have the gear wrench. Metric, again, quarter inch impact universal sockets. Uh, same story. I looked for Astro uh, brand. I didn't see those. So I did research again, found that these got, you know, five-star reviews, and they're pretty good. So that's what I went with. I think those were like 60 bucks or something like that. Um, let's see here. Another one from Amazon. You guys already know what this one is because I kind of already told you. This is the other wrench organizer. So... It's gonna be a lot better hopefully give me a little more space you know in the drawer if you guys can see they kind of uh, go in opposite directions the serrations so that this way you know you can have them like this kind of to get well not that close but they'll be together all right now we got one from Matco let's open up the Matco box next Actually, we have two from Matco. So, okay, this one's heavy. Matco is pretty awesome as well. Um, I get the student discount right now. But the only thing I don't like about Matco is if you're going to order something from them, make sure you order it with a credit card and not a debit card. Because if they don't have it in stock at the time that you order it, they're going to refund you that money. And then as soon as it comes back in the stock, they're going to take the money out of your account and overdraw you. 
Ask me how I know. Yeah, it's happened to me. All right, so we got a couple of uh, invoice over here. Got a couple of things in here. Let's start with yeah, right here. The basic multimeter. Um, so I have a multimeter from Harbor Freight, and yeah, man, you know it kind of does really basic stuff, but uh, I don't really. Sometimes don't trust the values, you know, it's a little weird sometimes, so decided to step this up to this one. This one also has more functions. Uh, let me see right here. This is 521, MD 521, model number. So, you do see here the other options right here. I got the basic one, and then you have ones that have a lot more functionality. But for just starting out, I decided to go with the basic, and uh, yeah. Got that, and to go along with that, I got some Facebook notifications, and also I have the 20-piece back probing kit. So this is going to save a lot of time. Um, if you want to probe a sensor, hit it from the back. That's how I usually do it anyway. <laughs> but um, this way you don't have to unplug anything, and plus you can see you know, you know, know, the value while it's plugged and connected into the circuit. Plus, it's actually safer to probe from the back than the front. So, pretty good stuff. And now, the last thing in this box. Holy smokes. Hold on one second. Last thing in this box is going to be the half-inch drive metric six-point impact socket set. It's a 30-piece set. Um, there you go right there. It actually comes with a universal socket and extension oh, I have another extension by gear wrench in my box and the short and deep so pretty cool definitely gonna be useful especially you know on the uh, on the big guns I, I, I recently got the uh, Milwaukee high torque which has uh, I think it's 1400 or 1200 foot pounds of breakaway torque I forget and I think it's I think it's 1400 breakaway and 1200 fastening torque so pretty good um this one oh yeah this is another one from amazon but <coughs> came in a manila envelope this one's not really a tool but kind of an educational tool i guess <laughs> look at that give me two bags double safe um, and yeah, let me get it out, having a hard time pulling out, <laughs> just joking, alright yeah, so we got the Motor Rage Electric and Electrical Systems ASC Prep Guide, I do have the Delmar Prep Guide, but I also like to, when I go for the ASCs, I like to use these Motor Rage books, they're very good. It's a, uh, you know, short, short little book. Um, and it goes through all of the basic, um, I don't know if you can see this here, all of the basic stuff, you know, you have diagrams and stuff like that. And it's just basically a refresher on everything, how to do certain tests, uh, what certain things are. Um, and they have these books for pretty much every one of the main ASCs that I've seen. For example, this book right here, and they're very short, so this book right here is uh, is 81, actually 80 pages, and then you have a, a test prep, you know, a practice test, so do that, read that, go through this, and then I go, th I make flashcards of the questions I get wrong, then I go through the Delmar book, do the same thing, study, 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 read, 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 practice, 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 and then I take the test. And, um, I mean, I've only took and taken one ASC, but that is how it worked for me the last time, and I'm about to take my next ASC. I'm currently in the process of going through that Motor Age book for the AC. I have, like, ten pages left, so I'm almost done with that. And, anyways, the last one... Who is this from? Amazon? 
from Amazon again. I have no idea what it is. All right, so let's just open it up. You know, there's a chance that this isn't even a tool. This is probably something else I ordered. And, oh, I think I know what this is. I think this is for my niece's birthday. I could be wrong. This might be a tool. Oh. I am wrong. It's a tool. <laughs> wow. I forgot I ordered this. Um, so yeah, the last one <clears throat> that I have is going to be the Gear Wrench uh, Rear Disc Brake Caliper Tool. Right here you have the... Um, all of well not all of but a lot of the adapters for the uh different types of calipers um where they have the indentations where they have to be pushed and spun back at the same time this is going to be really helpful um definitely i was going to get the uh the matco one <clears throat> however i didn't see it on the website it's kind of weird but so i ended up going with this one i think this one was like 80 bucks or something like that. I'll use this for the time being, uh, but I'm going to eventually upgrade and probably get the Maco one if I can find it. Couldn't find it the first time. I don't know why on the app. But uh, yeah, so I figured I need it, at least to start out. I got this one. So that's pretty much it. <clears throat> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And, uh, you know, let me know down below if you've used any of these tools or if you're, you know, looking at some of these tools you have any questions if i can help you maybe later on you know ask me a question and i'll i'll get back to you if i can you know so uh with any questions you might have so yeah thanks guys for watching and i'll catch you next time